Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm having a great day. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I want my audience to know what better way to celebrate Earth Day. You remember yesterday was Earth Day. I hope you guys were kind to the Earth because it's the only place we have to live. And we're going to talk a look, take Earth Day and combine it with a little bit of Peter Rabbit. And Sarah's going to do that for us. Yeah, absolutely. I am so glad that we could chat and talk about gardening and how to get kids excited about gardening how to get kids excited about gardening. And I think bringing in a character like Peter Rabbit with Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail, especially the movie just came out on digital and it's uh, May 1st is going to be on Blu-ray. To have kids watch that and kind of get excited about the whole gardening process is a great jump starter. Why is it, Sarah, why is it so important to get kids interested in gardening? I think it's really important to get kids interested in gardening because they need to know where their food comes from. And not only that, it encourages healthy eating habits, especially if you can be part of the process of starting something from as little as a seed to grow into a beautiful big plant. So how can we start this at home? Because this would be a great uh, weekend after school project. Yes, it would. And I think gardening can take, gardening can be on so many different levels. So whether you want to start in the ground or something small scale, especially with kids, you might want to start with something like a two liter container. If you cut the top off, add some drainage holes in the bottom and fill it with soil, it makes a great little planter that's super affordable. And then planting things that kids can get excited about, stuff like tomatoes or even sunflowers that grow really fast. Those are all really fun things to do as well. And, all right. Yeah. Go ahead. And even using like compostable containers, these are great because you can plant in them and then you just drop them into the soil outside eventually. But if you are limited in space and live in an apartment, having like an herb garden inside is something you can definitely do and adding those to dishes for healthy eating is great. I want my audience also to know that Sarah is a gardening expert and she hosts the DI Network show, I Hate My Yard and Lawn and Order, and I watch her. I like her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, Sarah, let me ask you, uh, it, we see the, under, uh, the importance. What about inner city kids? How, how can they make this uh, a part of their life so that they can respect planet Earth? Yeah, absolutely. So there's so many different ways to get kids involved. And in, in the inner city, it's harder to find the garden spaces. So we are fortunate enough to partner up partner up with Slow Food USA and do two gardens, one in Los Angeles and one in East Harlem. And we built these raised planter beds to give these kids a school garden that they can have this experience. It was a lot of fun. We built the planter beds up. We added soil. We had all the kids out there. They planted seeds. And you could just tell how much fun they were having participating in this. So it was, it was a really awesome experience. Peter Rabbit came there to help us out. And we had Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail. And it was just a overall a great experience to really celebrate Earth Day. Did we tie Peter Rabbit in the movie in to, to give them a sense of the, the basics? That is why Peter Rabbit's a part of this? Yeah, absolutely. I think the movie is a great way to just see how fun vegetable gardening and being involved in the garden can be. And for these kids, we had a whole day um, Friday. We prepped them. We showed them some movie clips and uh, got them involved. And th they really connected with these characters. So when Peter Rabbit actually came out, the kids were just ecstatic to see him. And I think it's a great connection on their level to understand like what they're seeing on screen and then doing it firsthand by creating their own garden. You've been a great guest. Do you have any general gardening tips for us? Yeah, I, there's so many different things you can deal with in different areas and making things easier. So I like to do raised garden beds. I also, if I'm planting with kids, I want to do things that are easy to grow and um, adding a drip irrigation system or hand watering. And those are all good things to keep the vegetables wet. You need that to get them established. But I like doing uh, sunflowers, especially outside for kids because they just grow so big and they're really beautiful. Okay, i got to take a couple Facebook questions, and one of them is they want to know, when is the Peter Rabbit movie coming out, or is it already out? So Peter Rabbit the movie is out on digital right now, and May 1st it's coming out on Blu-ray. 
All right. My other Facebook question is kind of personal. They want to know how you look so good on camera and you're doing yard work. <laughs> um, well... <laughs> You know, I think when you do what you love, uh, that comes across, and hopefully, you know, it's an energy thing and I, that people respond to. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you, online, is there a place for my audience to go to got all these questions? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I, I share gardening tips online if they want to follow me on social media, Instagram or Facebook at Sarah Bendrick. And then, of course, if you go to PeterRabbitTheMovie.com, you can find a bunch of little clips and things that encourage kids to garden. So I highly encourage people to check that out as well. Well, Sarah, thank you so very much. We'll be watching you on DIY, and we're hoping, hoping parents and school teachers all have gotten inspired, and they're going to start gardens or continue their gardens with their little ones. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Thank you.